moment. Put a three in the chat if you ever been suspended from work. I would say from school, but being suspended from school is no nothing like being suspended from work. Being suspended from school is a vacation. You actually look forward to getting suspended in school. You didn't want ISS. ISS is cool depending on who you were in there with and who the teacher was sitting in ISS. But OSS was always something that you strive for. Whenever you would get in trouble and go to the principal's office, you would always push, hey, let me get out of school suspension. Because out of school suspension means you can hit the block. You can hang out. You can play the game. You can watch TV. You can sleep in. You can do all kinds of wild shit while your parents is at work. But if you got that in school, you got to be there on time. You got to do homework. You can't sleep at the desk because the teachers are yelling, hey, wake up. Now, being suspended from work is different because when you're an adult, you realize once you start getting suspended, that means there's no pay. When there ain't no pay, that means that rent ain't getting paid. That means the lights ain't getting paid. That means you getting text messages talking about, hey, <laughs> your phone is overdue. That means you getting calls on the repo man talking about that vehicle. It's overdue. That means they're going to be showing up to your crib. I follow this dude on Instagram. He got this truck. He should be taking people's cars. He don't give a fuck. That's they don't give a fuck. That's their job. So being suspended is kind of tough. Now, David's got some money saved up. If I know my brother, he's got a lot of money saved up. Plus, we don't know what kind of crooked money he got. Now, I've never been suspended from work. That's one thing that's never happened to me. I may be an asshole. Y'all may think I'm an ignorant guy. I get on here. Ha ha. Jokey joke. I know what I'm doing when I go to work. See, when there's someone writing the checks, then okay. You know what I mean? I abide by the rules. But other than that, I do whatever the fuck I want. That's where Davis is right now. And that's why I like Davis's character. He's number two since Cooper Sachs is no longer with us. When I mean that, I just mean he ain't on the show. We don't know if he's dead or not. We ain't seen no funeral. We ain't seen nobody. But he's sitting here and his associate, she's like, listen, I'm going over your case file. Corruption. Representing a murder suspect and the son and. Having a police case file stolen. He's like, I didn't steal that, but okay. I can see where you're going. He's like, can we win this case? And that's just like me on my channel. I don't discriminate. I don't care where you're from. I don't care who you are. I don't care your preference or where you taste. I don't care about none of that. The only thing I ask from you all is to hit that like button. Now, if you don't hit that like button, then I got to get on you. But if you hit the like button, then I'm cool. I don't give a damn what you say in the comments. You know what I mean? They'll time you out if it's disrespectful. But if you want to get real disrespectful, you can either send a super chat and you can call me whatever you want and I'll read it out loud. But that's got to be twenty five dollars. And if you really want me to go in on myself, go ahead and send a hundred dollar cash out. And I'll shit, man, I'll talk so bad about myself for a hundred little dollars right now. But that's neither here or there. Davis is like, listen, can I win? That's all he wants to know. Can I get my license back? Can I start getting this money from these clients? Oh, and do you like what you see? You know what I mean? I put on my Yeezy Vultures just to say, you know, you like you like what you see? I was fighting that word. See, Nicole, we, we just talking about being suspended. We ain't say throwing hands at work. That's a whole different subject. Throwing hands at work. You needed to be fired. <laughs> I wish I was a boss and somebody was throwing hands. I'm like, hey, we got to. I ain't one to fire nobody, but man, we got to. If you fighting at the job, come on. Come on, Nicole. That's 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 past suspension right there. Yeah, I, I got to call the police. Yeah. Hello, who's this? I, I hate to say my name on here, but I got to report this one. I've never done this, so you guys are going to have to walk me through it. Uh, my, I can't even say my name over. This is a recorded call. My my name is Dante. I, my name is Dante. I'm up here. You guys need to come up here right now. This is somebody fighting. You got to get them out of here. It's the workplace. I couldn't get my name, man. I couldn't get my name over that line, man. But she's saying going over the case file, it ain't that bad. And he could potentially win. Now, I like those odds. But Davis, she's like, um, I kind of do like what I see, but you're my boss. And technically, since he's suspended, he ain't her boss. Now, fellas, hear me out. 
What I'm about to say is very, very important. And this is how the real world works. First of all, before all jokes, get consent. Always get consent. It's just what you got to do. Secondly, women, they're going to consent with Davis. Like you and I, no disrespect to my brothers watching this, you and I, it don't run as smoothly as this. You know what I mean? We might have to take them on a date. We might have to do all kinds of extra shit before they even think about doing this with us. So just be, you know what I'm saying? Just know where you are on that scale. We put Davis at like the, the you know what I'm saying, on like the, the 8 to 10 scale where, you know what I'm saying, the ladies want them. The ladies don't want us like that. You know what I'm saying? This is consensual to us. We're considered sexual harassment. You know what I'm saying? Like workplace husband, sexual harassment. When they look at us, they say sexual harassment. They ain't fucking with us. But you got to get you your consent. And David's like, well, you know, I ain't your boss no more. She closed the door. She pushed him on the bed. I ain't never had a woman push me on the bed. She pushed him on the bed. She jumped on top. He's like, wait a minute. You want to be on top or on bottom? So she pushed him on bed. She get on top. And he rolled all over. I said, damn, this nigga David is a menace. This nigga, he in here with his shirt off. Like, come on, Davis. Really? You got all us brothers over here watching this show. We ain't trying to see you with your shirt off, nigga. Put a goddamn button down on in a blazer. <laughs> well, they end up doing what adults do. You know what I mean? It's never been that easy in real life. Jeez Louise Davis. Maybe if I lose these. Hey, Zay. Zay, when she came in there, my man Davis was in there like this. One. You take a look over my foul. Yeah, I looked over it. How's it looking? Do we have a chance? Like, damn, nigga, your baby, your voice ain't this deep, Davis. She's like, oh yeah, I've seen worse. Oh well, do you like what you see? And she's like, oh yeah, Davis, I like what I see. This nigga in here with a goddamn. This nigga got the biggest towel you can find talking about. He ain't even sweating here. This nigga in here faking. Before she came in, he went over to the sink. He splashed some water on his chest. How is that case file looking? Do you think we can win this one? Oh, yeah, Davis. We can win this one easily. This nigga Davis. Yeah, we hating. Yeah, we hating. That nigga 100. That nigga, you wasn't in there working out like that. First of all, who got... The this nigga Davis got this big ass condo. This nigga got the weights in his bedroom. Get this nigga out of here. He talk about. <laughs> he in the back room. She like Davis, back here. <laughs> Where's back here? Go back to the left. Just come straight on down. At three hundred. Uh, yeah, I usually get a good pump in in the morning. Being that I don't have work, I actually. <laughs> I doubled it. Usually I do 150 before we go to work each bicep. 150 curls, but today I did 300. How's that case file looking? I'm like, man, this nigga Davis, bro. This nigga Davis is different, man. Now I, I invite I, I invite the women over here. They come upstairs. Like, oh, your place is nice. They sit on the end of the couch. Davis got her coming over. She's getting all clothes. Talk about I like what I see. I, <laughs> I, I'm in my own house. I have like shorts on. They be like, can you go put some sweatpants on? I'm like, it's hot in the motherfucker. We ain't got no AC over here in Germany. I'm chilling in the mother's shorts. Like, nah, I put some pants on. I'm like, man, I got on basketball shorts. Like, nah, we don't feel comfortable. I'm like, what? We in my house. Crazy shit. <laughs> Fucking Davis, man. Well, they say it's not the weight, right? It's, the, it's, it's how many reps you get. You know what I'm saying? Just getting, just getting his heart rate up. Uh, from there, Davis has court. Now, nothing really exciting happens. Now, you got to, I mean, depending on, some, some houses do have AC, but, yeah, remember, this is Old Town, Germany. So you got, I got a, uh, well, I got my AC unit uh, ordered that'll be in my bedroom. I mean, I can move it upstairs if I want to. I ain't about to order two. That shit eats up a lot of electricity. 
Well, yeah, you got to get like the little portable ACs that you got to have the, the little vent go out the window. So that's why I be having my door open in here because, it's you know what I'm saying, well, you got to have the ventilation. So I got the window in my bathroom open and then the window over behind the uh, couch open. They get to court and nothing exciting happens here. They're just like, hey, man, Jenny Sullivan, she has some allegations in here. They're very serious. Uh, Negro, you still suspended. That's really all that happened in the courtroom. They were like, you're suspended still. You're suspended. Davis was upset. I mean, what do you guys want me to say, man? They told him he's suspended. What, what else is there? He's suspended, y'all. He can't practice law right now. Then he gets to the office, and here's where it gets interesting. Davis, your 2 o'clock appointment is here. You're like, who? Who the fuck are you? And it's Don Carter. Now, these two, I like these two on, on screen together, man. What y'all think about Davis and Don? These two, they need a 50 needs to give these two a show. These two have some on screen, uh, the, the on screen chemistry is nice. I like this scene between these two. It was believable. Neither one of them backed down. It's like they sizing each other up. Like, I know you get girls. I get girls, but I get more girls than you. He's like, nah, I get more girls than you. He's like, nah, but I get more girls than you. And he's like, but listen, if you give me some information, I'll show you I get more girls than you. If you give me that information, I can get you some girls. That's how nice I am. And Davis is like, nah, I can get girls on my own. Matter of fact, I got a girl downstairs waiting on me. And then Don is like, well, listen, if you give me some information, I know some girls over at your board meeting that you would that would actually help you out. Not only help you out, will help you out, get your license back. So Davis is looking at him like, hmm, interesting. But if you fuck me over, I'm going to fuck up your life. And now these two are going back and forth because Davis is sensing that Don Carter wants him to give up information on clients. Don Carter is realizing that maybe you might be into the streets a little bit and you might have a crooked side. But if I can get you some kind of incentive, you know, license, then you might give me some information. So Don might go and do this on his own. Nah, Don, hey, listen, yeah, hey, I'm telling you, man, a guy like Don Carter. We in the power universe, right? This is the power universe, right? All right, well, we can be we can be adults in here. As soon as this just hear me out. This, don't no judging here. This is no judge zone. In the power universe, it don't take much for you to go <laughs> make some pillow with the next person, especially if your wife or your significant other is unalive. It ain't nothing to go get in these streets. You ain't nothing to go get in these streets now. Nothing. Hell, we see Noma out here wilding out too. Well, about to be wilding out. Now, David didn't give up any information because we know that he's talking about Tariq. Now, this is step one for Don Carter, and we'll circle back when it gets to his story. But Davis is standing on 10, and he ain't saying nothing to nobody. We know he turned down that $200,000. We haven't even seen Davis's wife, but we know that Davis, excuse me, Davis don't wear his ring, though. You know, we ain't no hater, but Davis don't wear his ring because he don't give a damn. But, I mean, that's how it is, though. You know what I mean? When you go to work, you shouldn't have your ring on anyway. When you go to work, you ain't supposed to be thinking about nothing but your job. You know what I mean? Nothing but your job. When you at work, listen, the day you go to work with your ring on is the day you don't go home to your significant other. What movie is that from? The day you bring your family to work is the day you don't go home to them. What movie is that from? We learned that early. We learned that as kids. Pre-teens.
But anyway, David says, forget it. Get out of here. I ain't give you no information. Scram. Uh, let me see. Hey, there you go, DJ. Training day. Yep. He told him to take that ring off. Hoyt. Holt. Holt. Take that ring off. Tariq Don Carter. Tariq. Okay, here we go. Now, Tariq ends up calling Davis because Don Carter pulls up on him. Now, when we get to Tariq's story, we'll definitely talk about what went down with Don. But Davis did some research on his own. And he gives us the full... De- okay, hold on. Wait a minute. That was fun, Perla. Hmm. Hmm. That's what I need a letter on my car, like my windshield. You know what I'm saying? How was your evening? Thank you. Wait, Torian, you from you from Silver Spring, Maryland? That's outside of DC. I used to go up to Silver Spring all the time. Or are you saying Michael Ely from Silver Spring, Maryland? Yeah. But all right. Now, uh, I don't even know what we talk. Oh, we talking about damn Davis. We got distracted with the dad was from Perla. Oh, that's where Michael Ely's from, Temple Hills. Okay. <laughs> now he did some research, and what it sounds like from Davis's perspective and Davis's information, Michael Ely. We calling a nigga Michael Ely. Don Carter is legitimate. He's on the task force. He was on the way to move up. We've seen that he's about to become the commissioner. But once his wife got unalive, now this is what I wanted to figure out. And we're going to do it on Davis's story because Davis is the one that brought this up. Everybody right now, think back of a hospital body in the OG power. Well, in all of the power series, think of a hospital in New York that there was a shootout. Was there ever a character that was at the hospital? Someone came to try to finish and there was a shootout. Because we're about to try to find where Don Carter's wife was and when she was unalive. Because David said he was on track to becoming some high power person within the police precinct. But his wife was unalive. We know Denise was unalive, but he said it was uh, someone on the gurney and they were trying to finish him off. So we need to try to think back of somebody getting finished in the hospital and then try to see if we see anybody get shot like a civilian or something. Maybe we could try to say that's Denise. Hmm. Davis and Denise. I'm going to write that down. 134. We're going to do some research here. It was never shown. Well, I know I know she was never shown. I'm just saying if we can just find like, was there ever a character that they tried to finish off at the hospital? Not saying that that's it, but that will be one of the leads. We got to exhaust all of our options. We got if someone was in the hospital, because I think damn, who was in. The, when was Cedric the entertainer there? Because he was uncle to. And Drew, Drew and Gordo went to the hospital, but no one got shot at the hospital then. I got to go back and watch the OG power now. I want to know. Just keep that in the back of our minds. So if it ever pops up, hey, Mo, there was a hospital scene where they came and shot up a hospital or something. Was Teresi at the hospital at one point? But that's too long ago, though. That's like season two, three. (laughs) Elder said, I remember a scene similar, but I don't think it was power. (laughs) Hey, thanks for that, Elder. (laughs) I fuck with Elder, man. 
Elder's been around for a while, man. Shout out to Elder. All right. Well, we I'm a don't worry. I'm gonna do some digging. If I find it, if I find something, we'll 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 look. All right. So he's on the phone with Tariq and he's telling Tariq, you gotta watch out. He even says that Don Carter isn't like any cop that we've ever seen in the power universe. Yeah, Julio. But that was early. Julio went and seen uh Liliana in the hospital like season one. Pink sneakers. Yeah, that, that's old. That like, no, nah, I don't think it was that. Julian Kane. That's seven days ago. All right, I don't, I don't see nothing. All right, I mean that's pretty much that's that's the end of Davis's story right now. He talks to Tariq. Um, what are we thinking? Is Davis ever going to get his license back? Is he ever going to get back on the block? Uh, we don't we don't know how long ago she died, but I'm assuming since he's on his task force at this moment within. I say no, no, no earlier than season one. Of ghosts, because season one and two were like basically one year. Yeah, because then Effie came down there to the end of the second year, what in the first year, which is the second year of season three. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's probably just a fictional story, but you know, I'm just trying to see if there's any leads out there. If there's anything that we can figure out. 